Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we are going to look into Azure Site Recovery. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your trainer for this AZ303 certification course. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. With Azure Site to Site Recovery, you can replicate Azure VMs to any other location with no infrastructure to deploy. The process is not tied to the pairing of regions encountered with storage, etc. The ASR Mobility Service extension is automatically deployed to protected virtual machines as part of the protection process. So you can replicate VMs, virtual networks, availability set, and storage accounts. Optionally, you can specify your own VNets, storage accounts, and availability sets. Replication happens on HTTPS channel and port 443 and an Azure egress cost is inquired for outbound traffic from the primary region. Let's have a quick look at the Azure to Azure architecture. With disaster recovery setup, Azure virtual machines continuously replicate from the source to a different target region. If an outage occurs, you can fail over VMs to the secondary region and assess them from there. When everything's running normally again, you can fail back to continue working in the primary location. This is an example diagram which shows that process. The first step is the VM is registered with the site recovery. The second step is the data is continuously replicated to the cache. The third step is the cache is replicated to the target storage account. And finally, during the failover, the virtual machine is added to the target environment. So let me take you to the Azure portal to show you how you can set up Azure to Azure virtual machine protection using site recovery. On the Azure portal, just like how we went for the backup, go to the search box and type in recovery services vault. I've already shown you how to create a recovery services vault. Select an existing vault. This time, instead of backup, you go to site recovery. This is where you would be able to protect your infrastructure for any sort of disaster. As you can see that there are three options straight away. Protecting the workload running in Azure, uh, protecting the workload running on a VMware machine to Azure, and Hyper-V machines to Azure as well. Let me show you how you can protect the workload running on Azure Virtual Machines. So first step is to click on Enable Replication. When you do that, first thing it is asking is, what is going to be your source location? So I'm going to pick East US, assuming that that is where you have your virtual machines running and select the virtual machine deployment model. The classic is the legacy model. I'm assuming that you have all the VMs running in a resource manager or ARM template model. Then select the source subscription, which is my current subscription and select the source resource group. So I'm going to select Silver Labs Lab Resource Group. The next question is disaster recovery between availability zone. I don't want that. So click next. So based on the resource group and the subscription I've selected, I don't have any virtual machines inside that. So if you do happen to have virtual machine, this is where you would be able to select the virtual machine and click next. And the next step is where you would be able to put the target location, target subscription, target resource group and target virtual networks. Since I don't have a virtual machine, so this is how you would be able to pick up the virtual machine if you had one. Then you basically click on enable virtual machine replication. Some of the settings which I talked about include target location. This is where you would be able to specify the location where your source virtual machine data will be replicated. Second option is target subscription. Target subscription is used for disaster recovery. Then we have target storage accounts. By default, site recovery creates a new target storage account mimicking your source VM storage configuration. Next is replica managed disk. The site recovery creates a new replica managed disk in the target region to mirror the source VM managed disk with the same storage type, whether it is standard or premium as the source VM's managed disk. The next setting would be the cache storage account. So site recovery needs extra storage account called cache storage in the source region. Then we have target availability set settings. By default, Azure Site Recovery creates a new availability set in the target region 
with name having ASR suffix to the VMs as part of the availability set in the source region. And finally, we have target availability zone settings as well. The next step is to customize the target resources. So you can modify the default target settings used by the site recovery. Under the replication setting is where you would be able to set up the replication name and when you would like to replicate and what are the recovery point retention and app consistent snapshot frequency as well. Before the actual failover, you would be able to perform a test failover as well. So always complete a test failover on an app before running a full failover. The test failover help you to check whether the app comes up on the recovery site. So if you find you have missed something, trigger a cleanup and then return the test failover. Then please run the test failover multiple times until you are sure that the app recovers smoothly. That concludes the site recovery episode. In the next lesson, we're going to learn about Azure App Service. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.